Let me be honest to you. The steps that I will present to you won't be easy. It will require much effort and willpower. But in order to truly change in just three weeks, you have to give it everything you have. I am convinced that if you actually follow all the steps and practices daily, you will become unrecognizable. I will separate it into two sections. First, we will cover the fundamentals that everybody knows, but most can't implement. They are simple to understand, but hard to execute. Then we will go deeper into advanced techniques that will help you to be consistent and stop procrastinating and actually doing the things that you need to do. Since you don't want to hear the same advice over and over, I will keep it short. Here is a list of 10 fundamental habits you need. Pause a second. Now, pick at least five habits you're ready to implement. If you're truly committed, go for all 10. But a word of caution, it's not as easy as it sounds. Don't fool yourself into thinking you can jump from zero to 100. You probably will stumble, feel lazy, or struggle to show up. Thinking that you know start to exercise every day for two hours, wake up at 5 a.m. and read for one house every day is read unrealistic. The, the key, start small, ridiculously small. Think of a task so simple, a child could do it. The crucial part is to initiate the habit with the tiniest action. The focus should lie on showing up first instead of perfecting it straight away. First, we start with how to change your identity. Because as long as your identity stays the same, the way you act, feel, and live won't change. You will always fall back into old patterns. So, reflect on how you currently see yourself and identify aspects you want to change. Let go of societal expectations and focus on what truly matters to you. Define your intentions. Vividly think of the identity that you want to adopt. Break down your identity change into small, actionable steps. Steps. For example, if you want to change your identity to be a fit person, every single time you go to the gym, think of it like one point is added and your identity to be fit and healthy is increased by one. Leave your comfort zone, since growth comes by challenges that you overcome. What would your current identity avoid at all costs? Find this out and exactly do that. This way, you can reinvent your identity really fast. You have to change from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. A fixed mindset is when you think that people are just born that way and that they are successful just because they are lucky and talented. But you have to get rid of this self-deprecating and draining mindset. Realize that you can achieve everything in your life when you truly give everything you have and even outgrow and outclass your competition when you work more and harder than them, even if they are more talented than you at the start. Don't blame external circumstances for your problems. Take up all the responsibility to yourself. This is the only way that true change can happen, since now all responsibility is on you. If you want to be focused, you have to cut out all the noise. Everything that is stopping you from achieving your goals. Think about your day. Where does all the time go? If you find yourself spending too much time watching YouTube videos and you feel like that doesn't bring you any further, cut it out. If it's playing video games or watching films, cut it out. You need to decide if these things are worth your precious time or not. There are many ways presented in the internet to stop procrastination, and maybe the one that helped me doesn't help you. But I think that the following method is one of the best. The pain of not doing the hard work must be worse than doing the hard work. Let me explain. Let's say you want to become athletic and healthy, but you just can't get yourself to work out and eat healthy. Then what I would do is to think about my future. If I don't work out now, if I don't eat healthy now, how am I going to look in five years from now? Terrible. And whenever you struggle with something that you need to do but don't want to do, always imagine the horrible future that awaits you if you procrastinate and the great future that awaits you if you don't. Now I want to give you a small gift. I have created two sheets, one weekly habit tracker and a monthly habit tracker so that you can easily track your progress and stick to your habits. Tracking your habits is really important since it holds you accountable. You can see the days you have fulfilled your goals and the days you didn't. It gives you a so-called positive upward spiral, which simply means that you probably don't want to lose your 30-day streak of doing the habit and then that further motivates you to always keep going and show up. Once in a while, you can also reward yourself for being consistent. They are free to download in the description down below. If you liked the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any future content. Until next time, take care.